All right, good morning, everybody. This is Jane from svgfilesfree.com. And yesterday I posted a free file for some arrow pieces that you can use in your projects. And I promised a quick video on how to use that in case you're new and you don't know. So we're going to do that this morning. First thing you need to do is sign into your design space and create a new project. And then we're going to go to the upload and upload image. Now this is assuming that you've already downloaded the file and unzipped it on your computer. And we're going to go to the file. And what you're looking for is the Aeroset 1 SVG. Click on that and click open. All right there's your file with your arrow pieces. And we're going to click save. And there it is in your uploaded images. So we need to click on that so that we can insert it. And just so you know, this file is a little bit big. So if you have your screen on 100%, you may, be, may not be able to get down here to this bottom right hand corner to make it a little bit smaller. So you might have to come down here to the bottom left and minimize your screen. I'm going to do that and go back up to 100 now so we can see it. And with this whole thing selected, which if you don't, you can just take and select it like this. We're going to come up here to the top right and we're going to click on group. And you may have to do that a time or two as we're going through these arrows. Now I'm going to use today this arrow. Okay, I see I need to ungroup it again. I want to use this tail and put that off to the side. And I want to use this arrowhead. So we're going to put that up here. The rest of these I'm not going to use right now. So I'm going to delete those. I'm going to pull these down here where I can see them a little better. All right, now I'm going to get our word. So you click on the text button, and let's do the word dream. Let's make that a small d. And I am using Cursive 101, which is one of the Cricut fonts. And if you don't know how to do your fonts, how to change them, um, click on your type tool, your text tool, and come up here. And at the very top, it says All System or Cricut. Go under Cricut. And like I say, that was Cursive 101. It's in here somewhere. Somewhere. There it is. Cursive 101. Now this is actually a paid font file, so I usually use my own files off my system. But just for an example, today we're going to use this one. If you do want to use system fonts, all you have to do is click on System up here. And that will give you all of your fonts that you have on your computer. All right, but we're going to use this one for now. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure it's selected. And then we're going to ungroup the letters. Because as you can see, they're too far apart. And we need to put those closer together. So let's move the D over. Put the E in there. Oops. And this has to be right on there or a little bit over the top of the other letter when you go to weld these letters or else it's not going to weld and you're going to have a space. I'm going to select them all. I'm going to come up here to align and I want to align bottom. And that looks good except for my M. I don't like that M. Let me zoom in on that for you. You can see 
where my M and my A are off a little bit. Actually, so are the E and the A. So let's take that A, move it over, and the M. Needs to go about right there. It looks like my D's off too. Okay, that looks good to me. <clears throat> so I'm going to select all those letters and I'm going to group it. And I'm also going to weld. So that is now one piece, one word. Now I'm going to take my word up here and I'm going to line it up with that end. I'm going to line this up here and I'm going to weld these two that is now one piece and I'm going to weld this together you now have one solid piece so let's say that I wanted a different color there's your arrow word right there and let's go to, first you would save it, and then we're going to go to make it. And there it is on your cut mat. And that's it. Now you can still say you wanted to do another word. You can go back here to upload. You can choose this file again. Insert images. And I make it small enough so you can... Get a hold of the corners. Let's get over here. And again, you would start the ungroup process, pick whichever ones you want, get rid of the ones you don't want, and you would do it all over again. And it's just that simple. So I hope this helps. Everybody have a great day, and be sure to check out our new free files on www.svg filesfree.com. Have a great day.